with a length of 349 meters, capable of launching sixth-generation aircraft and a full load displacement of 120,000 tons. What does this fourth aircraft carrier mean for the Chinese Navy? How will it reshape the rules of future maritime and aerial competition? As foreign satellite imagery and military analysis reports gradually piece together the outline of this colossal vessel, we cannot help but ask, why does China need to build a supercarrier surpassing the U.S. Ford class? The answer may lie between the skies and seas of 2030. On November 5, 2025, China's first domestically designed and constructed catapult-equipped aircraft carrier, the Fujian, was formally commissioned at a military port in Sanya, Hainan, marking the People's Navy's entry into the era of three aircraft carriers. This electromagnetic catapult-equipped carrier, with a full load displacement exceeding 80,000 tons, has become a landmark asset in the transformative development of China's naval modernization. Its features include a flat, straight-flight deck, electromagnetic launch and arresting systems, and a compact, integrated stealth island design. Yet, shortly after the Fujian's commissioning, Foreign military observers have already turned their attention to China's next-generation carrier, the legendary fourth major vessel. Multiple foreign media outlets, analyzing satellite imagery, speculate that a nuclear-powered supercarrier with an estimated full load displacement of 110,000 to 120,000 tons is under rapid construction at the Dalian shipyard. Its waterline width is approximately 42 to 43 meters, deck width around 82 to 83 meters, and deck length roughly. 340 to 350 meters, overall dimensions surpassing the U.S. Navy's active Ford class carriers. Why is China developing such a massive carrier after the Fujian? The core reason lies in the transformation of future aerial combat platforms. Between late 2024 and early 2025, China's two sixth-generation fighter prototypes, the Northern and Southern variants, successively achieved maiden flights. These next-generation fighters exhibit significantly larger dimensions, and wingspans than current heavy fighters like the J-16 and J-15. Simultaneously, the U.S. GAD program is accelerating, with Boeing securing the F-47 sixth-generation fighter contract in March 2025, targeting its maiden flight by 2028. As the core equipment for future naval aerial combat, sixth-generation fighters require larger decks, more powerful sensors, and extended ranges, demanding carriers with more spacious takeoff, landing areas, enhanced power supply systems, and more efficient ammunition delivery capabilities. Continuing with 100,000-ton carrier designs would not only reduce aircraft capacity but also limit the operational effectiveness of sixth-generation fighters. Therefore, the 120,000-ton displacement of the fourth major vessel specifically reserves ample upgrade space for the next-generation carrier-based aircraft slated for service in the 2030s. Globally, the U.S. Ford-class carrier at 337 meters long, 78 meters wide, and 112,000 tons full load displacement, represents the pinnacle of modern carrier technology. Yet since its 2017 commissioning, the USS Ford has suffered frequent electromagnetic catapult system failures. Its initial mean time between failures was only about 220 cycles, far below the design requirement of 4,166 cycles. More surprisingly, this vessel hailed as the world's most advanced carrier remains unable to effectively launch the U.S. Navy's primary stealth fighter, the F-35C. Contributing factors include compatibility issues between the electromagnetic catapult system and the F-35C, as well as insufficient reliability of the catapult system under high temperatures. This lesson underscores the critical importance of compatibility between aircraft carrier design and carrier-based aircraft. As China develops its own supercarrier, it must clearly avoid repeating these mistakes. For the Chinese Navy, if the fourth major vessel truly reaches the 120,000-ton class and adopts nuclear propulsion as widely speculated, it will deliver significant strategic advantages. A nuclear power system can provide virtually unlimited electrical support for electromagnetic catapults, advanced radars, and future energy weapons, freeing the carrier from reliance on conventional fuel and enabling true global deployment capabilities. The expanded deck area allows for a broader array of aircraft, including the J-35 stealth fighter, KJ-600 fixed-wing early warning aircraft, J-15T heavy fighter, and various helicopters. Future generations may even accommodate sixth-generation carriers and diverse unmanned aerial vehicles. Simultaneously, the wider flight deck allows for more catapults and landing chutes. The Fujian class carrier has already demonstrated the capability to conduct simultaneous aircraft launch and recovery operations, and the 120,000-ton carrier 
will elevate this operational efficiency to new heights. From a strategic perspective, the fourth aircraft carrier will represent the culmination of China's accumulated aircraft carrier technology, from the retrofitting and introduction of the Liaoning, to the independent construction of the Shandong, and now to the electromagnetic catapult system on the Fujian. China's aircraft carrier technology has advanced at a steady and rapid pace. As the world's first conventionally powered aircraft carrier equipped with electromagnetic catapults, the Fujian has successfully shattered the conventional wisdom that only nuclear propulsion could support such technology. The J-35 stealth fighter it carries is currently the world's only stealth carrier-based aircraft capable of electromagnetic catapult takeoff. In contrast, the US F-35C has yet to achieve electromagnetic launch from the USS Ford. This technological foundation has laid a solid groundwork for the fourth ship's leapfrog development. Notably, the fourth large vessel's design likely incorporates numerous innovative technologies. According to a July 2025 report by the foreign military analysis website Naval Insight, China is developing a new generation of integrated shipboard power systems capable of more efficiently distributing the immense energy generated by nuclear reactors. Simultaneously, the new carrier may adopt more intelligent damage control systems and shipwide information management systems, significantly enhancing the carrier's survivability and combat efficiency. Regarding aircraft launch and recovery systems, the fourth carrier is likely to be equipped with an improved electromagnetic catapult system validated on the Fujian carrier offering significantly enhanced reliability and efficiency compared to existing systems. From a GIA strategic perspective, the emergence of the fourth carrier will alter the naval balance of power in the Asia-Pacific region. The U.S. Navy currently deploys primarily Nimitz-class carriers in the Western Pacific, whose overall performance lags behind the fourth carrier by a generation gap. Although the U.S. plans to deploy more Ford-class carriers to the Yokosuka base in Japan by 2030, these carriers still face numerous unresolved technical challenges. In contrast, China's aircraft carrier development follows a more measured pace, with each new carrier representing a significant enhancement over its predecessor. This incremental approach ensures technological maturity and reliability. Regarding carrier strike group development, the fourth carrier will propel the Chinese Navy into a new phase of advancement. A 120,000-ton nuclear-powered carrier requires supporting escort vessels, replenishment ships, and shore-based support facilities. Notably, China is already developing the next-generation Type 055B destroyer, Type 095 attack nuclear submarine, and Type 901 a comprehensive replenishment ship. These vessels will join the fourth large ship to form a carrier strike group with global operational capabilities, particularly the Type 055B destroyer, reportedly equipped with electromagnetic railguns and laser defense systems, will provide the carrier with a multi-layered, three-dimensional protective network. From a broader perspective, the significance of the fourth large vessel extends beyond the military realm to showcase the nation's technological prowess. Aircraft carriers are hailed as the pinnacle of modern industrial civilization, with their design and construction spanning dozens of high-tech fields including naval engineering, nuclear energy utilization, electronic information, new materials, and aerospace. The completion of a 120,000-ton supercarrier will mark China's comprehensive breakthrough in high-tech manufacturing. As military expert Zhang Jiazhong noted, aircraft carrier construction capability serves as a litmus test for a nation's overall industrial strength. The development of the fourth major vessel will drive the upgrading and advancement of China's entire high-end manufacturing supply chain. In response to the technical challenges currently facing U.S. carriers and the future threats posed by sixth-generation aircraft, China's decision to build a 120,000-ton displacement vessel is not a blind pursuit of size but a rational consideration based on long-term strategic needs. A flight deck measuring 349 meters in length and 83 meters in width, coupled with a nuclear propulsion system and an optimized electromagnetic catapult, will provide a more powerful combat platform for future integrated sea air warfare. From the Fujian to the future fourth aircraft carrier, each step in China's carrier development sends a clear message to the world the continuously strengthening people's navy will contribute increasingly to global peace.